Welcome to Akshara Foundation's video on addition using carryover. This can be taught using teaching aids in Akshara's math kit, such as counters, place value mat, base 10 blocks, dice, abacus, and play money. Students by now understand that addition is combining of different quantities to arrive at the total or sum. Let us start with the place value mat and base 10 blocks. The base 10 system has yellow cubes which are units. 10 of these units equals one blue rod of 10. 10 tens are equal to a green plate of 100. 10 hundreds are equal to a red cube of 1000. Explain to students the rule of grouping by 10 and moving one place to the left. For example, Ask a student to add 6 units and 8 units. As soon as they reach 10, ask them to form a group and move the group one position to the left on the place value mat. Replace the yellow units with a blue rod of 10. Now we have a total of 110 and 4 units, which is 14. Let students try adding two digit numbers similarly. What is 25 plus 38? Remind students to start addition from the units place. 5 plus 8 gives 13. According to the rule of 10, 110 has to be carried over to the tens place. 2 plus 3 is 5. Remember to add the 10 we carried over. Thus, the sum is 63. This can be expressed on the square ruled paper and also displayed arithmetically. To calculate 25 plus 38 using the square lined book, expand the two numbers and write as ones and tens in the units and tens columns. Starting from the units place, count the ones and by the rule of 10, when you reach 10, group and carry over 110 to the tens column by writing it in the carry box. Circle the ones that remain in the units place. Count and write it in the answer box. In this case, 8 plus 5 gives 13. Similarly, count the number of tens in the tens column. Remember to include the 10 that was carried over. So we now have a total of six tens. Thus, 25 plus 38 equals 63. Let students generate their own problems with dice. Two yellow dice when rolled together give two digits. Add them to get the digit in the units place. Similarly, a pair of blue dice generates a number in the tens place. The number generated here is 57. Place the unit cubes and tens rods on the place value mat. Likewise, we could roll the yellow pair and blue pair of dice to generate any other number. For example, 46. Students can now proceed to add the two numbers. Remind students to start addition from the units place and then follow the rule of grouping by 10 and moving one place to the left. Let students try a few more similar problems. Play money is very popular with students. Show that 10 1 rupee notes is the same as 1 10 rupee note. 10 10 rupee notes can be replaced by a hundred rupee note, and so on. To add rupees 436 and rupees 279, a student calls out the first number. 436 is 400 rupees, 3 10 rupees, and 6 1 rupees, as she places them on the map. Another student says 279 is two hundreds, seven tens and nine ones and places it below the mat. Start by adding the numbers in the units place. 
6 plus 9 is 15, which is 5 in the units place, and 110, which is carried over to the tens place and replaced by one ten rupee note. Now add the numbers in the tens place. 3 plus 7 and the 110, which was carried over. This leaves 1 in the tens place. In the hundreds column, add 4 plus 2 and the 100 that was carried over from the tens place. The total is 715. Students can try out more problems with play money. Now they can move to four digit additions. Let's take 2075 plus 2771, for example. The next step is to start adding from the units place and grouping by tens at every stage. Here we have a total of 4846. Once students are comfortable with four digit additions, they can move on to five digit additions. The abacus is especially useful for five digit numbers. Let students observe that the rods on the abacus are designed to hold only nine rings because only numbers up to nine can be written in each place. But an add-on rod is provided to help counting beyond nine. After grouping by ten, ten yellow rings have to be replaced by a blue ring which represents a ten and moved one place to the left. 10 blue rings are replaced by one green ring in the hundreds place. 10 green rings are replaced by one red ring representing a thousand. 10 red rings are replaced by one white ring representing 10,000. Let students try adding 13,427 and 24,768 on the abacus. The first rule says start addition from the units place. We begin by adding 7 plus 8 using the add on rod. Now 10 yellow rings must be replaced by one blue ring. So 110 is carried over to the tens place. Now, 6 plus 2 plus 1 equals 9. Next, we have 4 plus 7, which equals 11, which is 1 in the hundreds place, and we carry over 1 to the thousands place. 3 plus 4 plus 1 gives 8 thousands. And finally, we have 3 in the ten thousands place. So the answer is 38,195. Let students try a few such examples using the abacus or play money. With sufficient practice in addition by following the rules, students will be ready for the next level of math.